Hi everyone, this is Amanda. We're going to do the German twisted cast on, but the English method. Um, so it's a long tail cast on, so you need a tail about three times the length of your intended cast on edge width. We're going to start by making a slip knot. So I have the tail in my left hand, and the working yarn in my right hand, and the needle in my right hand. I'm holding the tail in my three small fingers because I'm going to use my thumb and finger. I'm going to use my thumb to just scoop down over top and pick up that yarn. And now I have a loop on my thumb. And now I'm going to bend my finger down into that loop, take my thumb out, and stand my finger up. And now I have a loop on my finger that's perfectly crossed for me to knit it. So I'm going to insert the knitting needle into that loop from the left towards the back. And knit. So wrapping the yarn around in a, you can see it like this, a counterclockwise direction. And then I'm going to take my finger and push that loop up onto the needle and give the yarn a tug. Now you want to tug it all the way so that there's a loop on the needle and a little, it looks almost like a little knot, it is a little knot, that's a slip knot, sorry, under the needle. Okay. So I still have the tail in my hand, I have a slip knot on my right needle, and now we're going to start the cast on, which, luckily for us, is exactly the same as what we've just done to make the first slip knot. So with the tail in your left hand, scoop down with your thumb, bend your finger into that loop, take your thumb out, flick your finger up, and knit that loop. Push the finger loop over, and now give the yarn a tug until it looks like a nice loop on your needle. And again, so scoop, bend the finger, take the thumb out, finger flicks up, and now you can knit. So when I give this yarn a tug, I want to make sure that I tug it all the way. I don't want to leave the loop open like that. It needs to close all the way down. So you have to let this yarn here loosen a little to do that. If I were to keep pulling that yarn tight, it would pull the stitch open in the back there. And that is the opposite of what we want. So you want to just pull the thumb yarn until it's a nice neat little loop at the bottom of the needle there and you have a proper stitch on your knitting needles. All right, so we'll do it again one more time. Scoop, bend, flick up, and then knit that twisted loop. give it a little tug. So the key here is to tighten but not to tighten it too much. You just want them to be comfortably snug under the needles and you want to make sure that they are all lined up under the needle, not twisting and spiraling around, just all in one straight neat little line. There you go, that is that method. Looks just like as if we had done it the continental style, but it's maybe a little more comfortable for the English style knitters. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like and think about subscribing to my channel for more knitting tips and tricks. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.